वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियरिंग नेचर दिस इज मेहुल आई होप यू विल बी हैप्पी एंड हेल्दी इन दिस कोरोना टाइम टुडे आई विल डेमोन्स्ट्रेट यू हाउ वन कैन सिम्युलेट फ्लो ओवर व्हीकल्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ आंसर फ्लो एंड आई एम कंसिडरिंग वन ऑफ द एस यू वी कार एंड आई विल सिम्युलेट फ्लो ओवर दैट एस यू वी कार I will also demonstrate you how to calculate drag force as well as drag coefficient and we try to extract the flow field over that vehicle so let's start we can start with creating a geometry this car geometry i already had created in my previous tutorial i had shown that if you missed that you just go through that tutorial to simulate this car i am considering 30 meter by 5 meter of flow domain at flow domain i will placed vehicle after certain distance from inlet this car i had consider i am going to use the photographic image to construct the outer layout of this vehicle you can go through that tutorial to understand how one can construct a geometry with the help of photographic image you can explore more tutorial on my channel regarding spray simulations multiphase simulations and others so once you use this sketch with the help of spline and line operation we are in the position to construct outer profile of that car which we had consider so in this tutorial i am not considering this tire profile at all and that's why just outer profile over which flow will pass so that profile only i had consider so now in this way the two dimensional flow domain is ready you just provide the depth i am considering 2 meter of depth to simulate the flow you just save this geometry file and let's export into the mesh module now in the mesh module you should define the material go to that geometry you just click on that you will find the material segment where you can define either whether we have solid body or fluid body so you just choose the fluid domain and apply to this entire domain now let's create a mesh i am creating simple mesh for our understanding so let's apply the phase sizing option initially let's use the 0.5 meter total inlet length is 5 meter so i am applying an element size of 0.5 meter it's in millimeter so 500 millimeter and let's try to generate mesh with this element size so it's very coarse mesh so let's refine further you can also go through one of my tutorial where i will show how one can refine the mesh so there are different strategy different options uh, you can choose uh, through this mesh bar now let's refine further just instead of uh, 0.5 meter of elemental size let me use smaller elemental size so now i will consider let's say uh, in the phase uh, size option i will consider 0.2 meter that means 200 mm and let's see how refinement will appear 
so it's always trial and error approach you should adopt it will create almost 23,000 mash element so now it's okay now only thing you should refine mash element near to this car so adjacent to the car what you can do you just select all edges of that car and we are refining that or we are going to use smaller elemental size like 0.1 meter or 100 mm for this car body you just define that and just it will have reflected the finer mesh element near to this car wall so which will give you more than 70,000 element so it's fine for me for demonstrating purpose now let's define the boundary conditions we have inlet outlet boundary condition this is flow inlet boundary condition so I just give the name as inlet we have outlet boundary condition where flow will come out and carefully you should choose uh, this car wall uh, car wall boundary because we are going to calculate drag force on that car wall only so you just uh, go to that select mode and with the box setting option you select entire uh, car wall and you separately define that uh, wall like I define as a car wall so on that wall we are try to uh, calculate the drag coefficient this is very important so once you define all boundary conditions uh, we can go uh, to the further process for the solution setup you simply update that and go to the fluent The remaining eight generally considered as a wall so there is no no, no need to define everything so this is uh, our flow domain where we have inlet and outlet flow which will pass over this car so simply let's ensure the uh, the unit we are using meter let's check the mesh considering pressure based and study solver in the physics of the problem simply it's turbulent flow so let's use this k epsilon standard model to enhance the solutions uh, you can use uh, this enhanced wall treatment even standard treatment standard wall treatment can also work now in the material segment uh, since uh, it's by default it's air so it's good for me i will just pass the air over this over this car even in this flow domain by default it is air so absolutely fine now let's define the boundary condition at the inlet i am considering uh, the flow velocity of 100 km per hour let's say the vehicle will travel 100 km per hour so that means uh, the velocity at which the flow will strike it's almost 27.7 uh, before that uh, we should define the uh, turbulence uh, information at the inlet so I choose a uh, turbulent intensity as well as hydraulic diameter so I am considering 5 percentage of turbulent intensity as well as you can calculate the hydraulic diameter by equation of uh, 4a by parameter so for this given case hydraulic diameter is uh, 2.85 meter and 100 km per hour that means 27.77 meter per second so that is the inlet boundary condition i imply on that and at the outlet we have uh, pressure outlet condition it's atmospheric pressure so zero gauge pressure five percent intensity as well as hydraulic diameter the calculation i will give in this uh, description box uh, for this hydraulic diameter how to calculate hydraulic diameter so this is all about and the boundary conditions then to calculate the drag coefficient you should set the reference values so this is the projected area of vehicle the detail about projected area i, I will put into description box uh, total length of this car i am considering 4.7 meter so this is all about the reference value 
now for solution method you can keep all default setting as it is and <coughs> for calculation purpose calculation activity we set our residual as 10 to minus 5 for continuity and momentum equations 10 to 4 for k and epsilon and now uh, in addition to that uh, and now you can initialize the problem uh, let's do the hybrid initialization once uh, initialization has been done uh, you can uh, set certain uh, calculation activities like uh, see what happened uh, we, we, we wish to calculate dra drag coefficient so you just define the drag coefficient from uh, the definition report definition over the car wall I need to calculate the this drag coefficient you just enable the uh, the plot as well as report and uh, my direction of calculation is in x directions I try to I wish to calculate drag force as well as drag coefficient in the x direction because flow will uh, move in the x direction so let's uh, rename this as a drag coefficient you can also calculate drag force if you wish so by default it's, it's it will calculate the drag coefficient and let's start the calculation activity I will before that let's uh, save this uh, case and data file and I will consider 500 iteration 500 number of iteration for my calculation so once you start the calculation activity uh, the residual plot as well as drag coefficient plot will appear in this console so initially uh, there is a fluctuation appeared in this track coefficient values but slowly slowly it will stable and become constant so that will indicating that uh, we are having accurate drag coefficient for our vehicle so after 500 iteration i just stop the calculations where my continuity equations reach up to almost 10 to 5 momentum 10 to minus 8 uh, residual value so it's uh, good so now with this solutions uh, let's try to uh, make the post processing for the post processing I just focus on my uh, vehicle that is uh, that is outer surface of this vehicle so let's enable that uh, uh, with the help of display and let's uh, try to capture pressure contour uh, over this uh, vehicle now before that uh, uh, for good appearance uh, for better detail you should create a plane uh, basically there are several options uh, yz plane or xz plane or xy plane we are interested in xy plane which is exactly symmetric over this uh, domain so let's create this uh, xy plane and, and over this xy plane i will uh, capture pressure as well as velocity uh, contours so this is uh, the pressure contours over the xy plane let's feel that for better visualization for better understanding so this is how pressure contour uh, from lower to minimum to maximum values will be indicating over the domain on the top surface there is a lower pressure indicating suction surfaces that blue color indicating suction over the vehicle you can also calculate the velocity contour where on the top surface maximum velocity as well as on the back side there is a large smaller velocity zone which is basically recirculation zone so you can ensure that by the turbulence uh, value see on the back side uh, rear of the vehicle we have large turbulence as well as the front and the spoiler sections large recirculation create a turbulence now let's uh, track the uh, streamline pattern so you just go through the path lines and on the path line you just play with this path skip and you just uh, display the streamline over this xy plane so this is how uh, it's look like the streamline it's always uh, uh, tricky that uh, the better image you can capture with the help of uh, the you just uh, play with this uh, streamline pattern so at some particular configuration you will have better streamline pattern 
to have better visualization let's uh, consider this car wall and plane together so we have uh, better information with us so you just enable the display of plane car wall inlet and outlet then you just simply uh, go through the path line and in that path line you just uh, enable this uh, xy inlet outlet and car wall then you simply display by just reducing the path skip once you reduce the path skip definitely in the streamline will be denser it will become more dense so have better visualization about the recirculation zone where how exactly the flow will be uh, recirculated create recirculation over the back side you can change the color as well as uh, as well as uh, you can change the pattern so this uh, ribbon pattern or uh, ribbon style uh, will looks good so this is always you can uh, play with different options for this post processing so this ribbon option blue color uh, it will uh, give much more uh, better image so you can save that image at the desired locations so this is the streamline pattern which we had captured through this way which will basically give the idea about the wake zone or recirculation zone behind the vehicles now you can calculate the drag force as well as drag coefficient uh, with the help of report and you just go through report and calculate the all forces basically this is the drag forces it is almost uh, 1139 newton basically uh, it's a summation of pressure force as well as viscous force in the same way it will also show you uh, the drag coefficient that is uh, due to the pressure as well as viscous uh, force what is the total drag coefficient which we have uh, 0 0.709 almost uh, equal to what we had uh, observed during the drag coefficient plot so that's it for uh, analysis of flow over vehicle thank you very much uh, you can subscribe my channel you can share this video for encourage my uh, efforts goodbye thank you very much